Simon, I want to talk to you a little bit about um, the why. I, because even um, at tense moments, I think, in my own family or even um, here, people will say to me, Glenn, we can't save the whole world. We're not in this to save the world. But I am. And I believe that people need to be warned, but I also believe that there's, uh, it, it can be better than this. We don't have to be like this. Um, and so that's what my why is. But um, A, is there, a, I mean, what should your expectation be if it is to, to really change the world? Why is that better than somebody who would say to you to create this widget and make a bazillion dollars? Money is always a result. Um, and the fact of the matter is, as human beings, we want to feel like we belong to something bigger than ourselves. And what we find is that the greatest leaders are actually the best followers. Because as, as leaders, they see themselves in service to a purpose or a cause or a belief larger than themselves. And so all of their behaviors and all of their decisions are guided by this cause that they're on, this pursuit, this, this journey. Um, and so starting with why is an essential component of leadership because it's the reason we would show up in the first place. Right. But then, but then what? But then what? Now you have this message and you've attracted all the people, and then what? And so my own work is sort of semi-autobiographical. It's my own journey, which is as people were attracted to this message of why, the question is, well, now what do I do? How do I create trust and how do I create um, cooperation so that we can advance this, this cause that we believe in of this, of this better world? And, and then I took a lot of my cues from, from people in the military who truly are come together to, to serve a cause greater than themselves. And you see levels of trust and cooperation that unfortunately in the private sector are rare. You know. These are people who are willing to give their lives to save people that sometimes they don't even like. Right. We don't even like to give up credit for things, you know? Right. So um, um, how do you create the cooperation, um, especially in a, geez, uh, even a family um, that is just trying to get everybody to put the cell phones down, get everybody just to, just to, to, to relate to each other? It, everything in our society whether it is personal or in business, it is all being swept the other way. It's a complicating factor. It's a huge complication, which is as human beings, we are at our best with others. We work brilliantly well together. And so when you, when you start to see things that happen where that, that bring us together, we're great. The problem is, is we live in a world in which we are more and more physically disconnected. Um, we, we talk on, on, on texting rather than on the phone. We would rather send an email than get up and walk 30 feet and talk, some, talk to somebody. I know a company, it's a startup in Los Angeles. There's five people who work at this company and they, they have an office. They all work in the same space. I kid you not, they send emails to each other all day. Wait, wait, it gets better. And have Skype calls with each other. Like literally a Skype call with that guy. You know? <laughs> And it, it, it sort of makes you wonder, sort of, how do you build trust and cooperation when you have no interaction with the people you're supposed to be working with? So you're absolutely right. Um, cell phones and, and sort of uh, social media are an absolute problem when it comes to sort of just being, just being human. Well, let me, let me play devil's advocate here. Um, I am probably closer to some people um, because of email because I'll get up in the middle of the night and they'll be, I'll be thinking about them and I'll end up writing, you know, three pages to them, which I probably would have said, I don't have time to call them or whatever. So uh, there is another side to that. I don't think technology is a bad thing. You know, alcohol is not a bad thing. Alcohol in excess is a bad thing. Right. You know, gambling is not a bad thing. Gambling in excess is a bad thing. Right. All of these, all of these conveniences that we have in our modern world, of course, are fantastic for reinforcing pre-existing relationships, letting family members who are far away connect with us. Absolutely wonderful. But it's when the balance starts to tip. It's when, when we overuse these things and start to rely on them even more. I mean, think about it. If I were to come to your house for dinner and, and the next day I want to send you a note, tell you what a wonderful host you are, what a lovely meal I had, I could dash off a quick email and, and tell you what a great time I had. Or three days later, you receive a handwritten note from me yep. with the exact same words in it. Yep. Which one makes you feel better? The one that handwritten. handwritten note, of course. Right. Same words, same intention. My gratitude is the same. But email is so easy and we can dash it off so quickly 
that it doesn't feel the same. So when we know that a human being is willing to give their time and energy to us, we actually feel it. And it's these qualities that start to build so trust. So do you think that there's a possibility, because I think the world is headed towards someplace much more authentic. It's either headed towards totalitarianism because we just cut cave on, uh, on ourselves, um, or back to something much more authentic. Um, what you're you're betting well, it's, on it's it's going to go one of two ways right if we continue down this path it's it's sort of like uh, the excesses of the 80s and 90s or the dot com bubble which is if we don't intervene it will crash yeah. that was the problem we nobody intervened and it crashed and so if it's it's like a 12 step program the first step is admitting we have a problem well, if we don't inter, if we don't intervene yeah. it will crash Okay. But I, I'm like you. If we spread this message, I'm hoping that we will intervene and people I, will start to do the right thing. I know it will. Um, uh, the uh, book from uh, Simon is Leaders Eat Last. Highly recommend it. Back in a minute.